somebody. All right, Straw Hat Luffy is the guy that apparently you get all the emotes from. So I did be guy. My man, Straw Hat Luffy. Did you guys see me destroy guy? That was oh, yeah, crazy. you destroyed him. That was gross. That was nasty. Oh, this is starting. Cody yeah, boys. this is going in. Cody boys, tag team. Let's go. Uh. <laughs> All right, so let me tell you something. Seagull wanted me to beat Chu, and the reason is Seagull has beaten everybody in this region, every top player except Chu Dad. Chu so is the is one person. Yeah, that's the thing. Seagull always goes last game, last hit, and he just loses. He does not clutch it out. I don't know what it is. I mean, it's, it's like he was doing that for a long time with Boss, too, man. Like, he was getting, like, really close to beating Boss. And then, like, there was this one time where, like, Boss made like this crazy three stock comeback at like 100% and he just like could not close the game. I was like, Seagull. Seagull. It's very, and, and the thing is, Chu is like the most, what's the way to put it? He is so hard to get that last stock off of for yeah. some reason. I, I don't know what it is. But okay. the first stock is easy as Seagull is showing right there. Kills yeah. him with an F air. All right, Seagull seems, might, might, might get a little fire behind him right now. That boy is trying to poop himself today. What is this, uh, this Chinese cartoon tag? Oh, uh, Ginyu? Yeah, what is that? Um, it's is that a Hokage? It, it's a it's a Diddy thing. The what's the name was playing under uh, Guldo or Guido or uh, how, how do you say his name? The green one. Um, and that's part of the and it's part of the Ginyu Force. He feels like I guess he's the leader of the Ginyu Force and the Diddy Force right now. So I, I wonder where that leaves. Like I don't know what the Ginyu Force is. All right. So anyway, this guy didn't have a childhood. We're gonna go ahead and get back into this match. I don't know. I'm the I'll look it up on my phone anyway. Don't even want to talk about it. You don't. Don't look it up. Don't Ooh, even find out. Did you see that? That was smart. Yeah, so that was smart. Chu lands with the inhale. Shout out to me. He def stole that from me, and he's gonna hit the back air, and Seagull is gonna die. So only a 30 percent or 38 percent lead for uh, Seagull right now. The thing is, Chu is so strong if he gets a swallow side, but it seems like he struggles if he doesn't. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. So as long as Seagull can stay away from that and keep abusing Diddy's super priority aerials, you should be okay. All right, scooped up right there. Oh, definitely trying to go ahead and cheese him out this stock. I mean, but that's 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 common to that. No. We all know he's he's a uh, he's he's down on percent, so he feels like if he can even it up. Which I mean, to be real though, when you're beating you at and then you get swallow sided and then it's the even game, it, it really does like affect your uh, oh absolutely your your momentum. You're just like man, dude, I, I did all this work. It's way worse when he is at like 130 and you come back on a fresh stock and he somehow gets it. That happened to me in our set. Like, that feels so much worse. What also feels bad is when Diddy kicks you right in the face, and that's what Seagull did right there. Hit the banana to F air. Seagull only at 34%. He's nowhere close to dying. Yeah. I mean, this is good stuff right here for Seagull, though. I mean, he's definitely uh, trying to conquer the demon. He's doing a good job. He's got a pretty smart, a uh, good lead. But you, now trying to carry him. Just barely missing that forward air uh, for the conversion, though. Definitely trying to carry that man off stage. Cool. Yeah, this is just a lot of attacks. Diddy just throws out attacks, and, and Kirby kind of has to work around it. That's that's Kirby's problem. Yeah. Is that his hitboxes are kind of precise. Throwing out attacks and, and yelling and chirping the whole time. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, Diddy is very can get, annoying to play. Can fight. we get a Diddy, Diddy silence pack? Like, <laughs> Just where he's quiet? Yeah, just one where like, he only chirps on like three hits instead of like every movie does. I remember being very weirded out by that when I first got Brawl, because like every other like game that Diddy's in, he like makes some sounds, but it's yeah. like cartoony. In this game, he's an actual monkey. Yeah. And you know what they say monkeys do? Oh, I, I just don't understand why he needs that sound on his like his jump. You yeah. know what I mean? Like <laughs> it's already bad enough he has a move like a sound on like every single one of his hits, but the jump too, like too much chimp. Well, a lot of characters have like something on their second jump. You know what I mean? So 89% to 58. Seems like Chu is slowly. I mean, oh my god. Seagull giving you a look. Yes, what? you, the viewer. Was it me or that him? Was, no, that was, was for was the viewer. Viewers, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you guys. Uh, he, yeah, he, he just broke the fourth wall on y'all. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Alright, Seagull. You need to figure out how to. Oh, Seagull, you you got to figure out how to close the stock Seagull right now. Seagull definitely just hit us with like the Flintstones, like it's a living. Like he just looked right at the camera and wondered how he died. I mean, it's weird how Chu does this. It really is. Like Chu brought it all the way back from being probably a stock and a half down at one point. Uh, I think the real problem is uh, he hasn't put his gunners on yet. And, oh, don't tell him that. And Chu that has his gunners on, so the frames being seeked. <laughs> Are, are Chu, Chu sees them all. I mean, there's 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 
frame is being dropped right now, and Seagull just the doesn't Seagull even cannot know. perceive. He cannot perceive. They're in a different dimension. Oh my god. You know what's funny? Chu looks like he's in an empty room. Oh wait, no, somebody just Yeah, someone just came through. Chu like, yeah, it's like totally different. Like it's the cameras are right next to each other. Chu looks super lonely. Like <laughs> Chu looks like Chu looks like he just started a stream waiting for his boys to come through. <laughs> Oh no, so Seagull off the stage. He's gonna have to Deep Kong. He gets hit by the F Smash. He's gotta come deep! Oh, he made it back! I, I did not believe that was gonna happen. So, why didn't Shoot that just grab the ledge? I hope he loses now. I don't really hope he loses. But, I mean, the fact that he didn't grab that ledge is like pivotal in the fact that you're giving, you gave Seagull hope. Oh, jeez. Chu is so strong in these situations. He's yeah. so strong. Okay. He's gonna <laughs> oh! Good tech in the turnaround. Oh, I'll tell you. the double F smash. Wow. Seagull shrugging his shoulder again. Short like, pop off. Seagull is Bugs Bunny right now. Like, look at. <laughs> All right, the pro I wonder if he's gonna put those gunners on. He's missing the frames on the Z axis. So. Maybe those are his gunners on Chu's eyes. Chu stole them, and he won't give them back unless Seagull wins. You you don't have the right to wear the gunners when I'm wearing the gunners. It's the gunners battle. He took Who was the originator gunners. of wearing gunners, like uh, at, in Smash? Was it was it DM? Because I feel like for a while he had gunners. Oh Christ! Yeah, he did that for a very long time. Like, I, it, like like at the beginning of Brawl. Shout out to DM. Yeah, shout out to DM. I remember playing DM a very funny that. joke on us all doing that. I remember him having gunners like at pound four. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what? All right. Ah, okay. I, I don't think he needs gunners. I, I think, to be real though, I think that Google Glass context he's wearing right now is really starting to pay off. He, he got, he was downloading behind us the entire time. Download and complete. Download complete. Ooh, the room just filled in. We just got a whole party showing up. There are the boys behind Chu. They, they showed up for their boy. So he lost the first game. I said, nah, not like that. And honestly, that's that. That seems to be how their sets go a lot where Seagull will win the first game um, pretty convincingly, more convincingly than that one. And then Chu will just kind of run a train on the next two. Chu, I think, loses more first games than anybody else in terms of, like, games he's going best of three on. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Chu doesn't really lose game two. But right now he's behind by a pretty significant amount, so we'll see if Seagull can clutch this out. He cannot wow. afford to be uh, too cocky here. And he gets swallowed. I mean, what else was he going to do? Seagull to be real, like the way the way that Chudak came down, like he covered like almost every option. Let's shoot it. I mean, let's uh, Seagull jump like way far back, which I, I saw what Seagull originally wanted to do. It seemed like he was trying to get behind him, but uh, Chudak read that a little bit and started drifting back instead of going forward like he usually does. So now he's got an even game, but uh, he's starting to rack that damage up on him. I wonder if he could have recovered off the other side. What do you mean? It would have been harder, but it, so he got. He might have been able to do a side B and then up B to the left ledge instead of falling into the swallow side. Maybe. It's not what we're talking about now. I mean, but maybe. But I feel like that, that he would have had, had like super precise aim for that. Yeah. If he ever pulled that off, he just wanted to set my heart right there. Cool. So he rolls in. That was a very risky option. He's going to get back aired. He's so close to dying off the side. Oh, not smart. Quite, though. Oh, still going to go ahead and take that. though. That was a very smart option to use that up. Matt and get a little extra leverage before yeah. he started. Though. Try to mix Chew up with Chew. The more patient type is like, eh. Kirby's so light, he almost dies to that F smash, the second hit, at uh, 100 after the hit. So if Chu can rack up a little bit more percent before he drops this next stock, which I do think he will. I don't know what that option was that Seagull was going for right there. Like, that down smash was in no way going to hit anything. Anyway, see if he can at least get the, the stock off. Kill, but uh, I guess Kirby's heavier than he looks. I'm surprised that he went nowhere off that. Okay, up, up smash kill though finally finishes him and only only 23% he's taken, so he could still take this. I mean, he, he was behind last time and since Chu did not decide to go for that easy ledge guard, ended up losing the game. Right now Chu racking it up though, great damage coming from with those up air, uh, that up air string. Chu is just so smart at picking at small openings. He just puts his feet in there with that little red Kirby and he just slowly pokes away at you. It's very... Uh, Ill-advised to do anything risky against Chu, especially in this kind of situation. Man, you know, you ever know how to talk Kirby just be like, he just be kicking. Def just kicks. He just kicks all the time. Man. Like, where, where you learn all these kicks from? Man? Where you get those shoes? I mean, how have them shoes uh, are never, are been, are how have never been? How have they never been I think they're his feet. But if they, if they're his feet, how come, how come they'll never get dirty? Uh, talk about that. Well, they might. I mean, I never see. How it. come Kirby doesn't have a tongue? 
I think he. Oh, he doesn't. I mean, but then, then again, when would he ever use? Nice stuff right there. Seagull it. with the. Seagull pop off. Pop off, boy. Seagull says, finally.